this is a video review by idq.lockspot.com Today we'll be looking at the Acer Aspire 1 using Windows XP as the operating OS Now, um, normally this version of Aspire 1 comes with a uh, Acer's installed Limplus version but I changed it to XP for obvious reasons one being that uh, Limplus ver uh, OS can't seem to handle QuickTime movies uh, like that trailers on the Apple's uh, Apple site nor can it handle um, HD content so one should opt for Windows XP as the preferred operating system since it has more flexibility and capabilities um, this version of Windows XP is actually um, a performance edition um, you have SP3 installed, of course. Um, took about three hours. Most of the time was spent on hardware detection, which utterly failed in the end because I still had to install the drivers for the hardware again, which took another 40 minutes. So you know, if you're thinking of installing XP, just remember you have to invest about four hours to install this thing. Um, the page file is assigned to this SD card at the side here. It's only 2 gigs and it's probably a class 2 or class 4, I'm not too sure. Um, no, that's about it. Okay, we're gonna just watch some um, some video. Just let me open that up. Um, of course, all the video is in a 720p which is about as high as that atom can uh, handle before it starts dropping frames and um, there's also no point to watch any uh, 1080p uh, videos on a uh, 9 inch screen like this so uh, let's just check out Macross Frontier uh, it's the first episode of Macross Frontier actually it's encoded in H264 uh, um, stored in a uh, MKV container uh, I'll be using, uh, as you can see, Media Player Classic with, uh, the, uh, with, uh, with the core AV codec so the default uh, FFD show codec for decoding HD I'll be also using this codec for decoding um, HD content from uh, uh, QuickTime. So, all the movie trailers from there will be a little bit, a little bit faster. Um, well, not a little bit faster, but more smoother than, not, uh, than using uh, uh, QuickTime's default decoder. Okay, I'll just go to action sequence. It's keep quite smooth. Um, as you can see, um, the Atom makes a pretty decent uh, mobile media player, which is Wi-Fi capable and of course you can surf the internet, so there you have that. Watch it a bit. As uh, my previous review, on the uh, Atom C20, uh, the whole Atom family seems to be able to handle uh, 720p, even though they have a lousy uh, graphic chipset, which is provided by Intel. Uh, I think it's the G945 or the G950, uh, one of those two. You can see it doesn't like at all. No frame dropping. Smooth as silk most of the time. But here it can't handle this with uh, Firefox. Um, as you can see, starting up Windows XP is pretty fast. Um, shutting it down on that hand seems to take a long time. Might be due to the lousy uh, read 
Well, not really, but they got the right capabilities of their SSD drive. Um, let's go in uh, XQ. You'll notice that the pro for the side is actually not in, not in the corner here on the touchpad, but actually in the center. Yes, I mean, well, not in the center, but you know, just between here and here, so... I want to scroll. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, catch that sucker. Yeah, off the side here. So this is, this touch is a bit complicated to use, but there you have it. Um, this Atom CPU, for the Atom Fire, actually has hyper-treading, so supposedly it can handle multi-tasking, but I wouldn't bet the farm on it. It's a bit slow, and it has all sorts of problems sometimes, especially when it comes to writing data onto the drive. As you can see, it's clocking around 50-something. We were trying to browse. Just look at the side. There we go. Trying to browse, it knocked around 100%. So, so I, I'm not sure how long, how this uh, affects battery life, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty uh, detrimental. Oh, there it is, you can see it. No problem. Play movie. Seems to handle itself pretty well. So, uh, would I suggest uh, updating your Lim Plus version of your Aspire 1 to XP? Yes, I would. And uh, would I recommend actually buying the XP version of the system? Not really, because it comes with a standard uh, notebook hard drive, which, as you can see, you know, got time, I'll quickly show you this. You can't, you can't shake it when it's playing, or accessing the hard drive. Basically, you can't do this. Killed a hard drive, notebook hard drive, right down the spot. Okay, this has been a video review by me, Dieter, from igq.logspot.com, and uh, had trails.